Facebook Friday, and I want to show you Facebook just changed some settings in Creator Studio, makes it much, much easier for you to upload videos, describe videos, and schedule your videos in Creator Studio. And I take you behind the scene, showing you step-by-step -step how you can now simply in integrate video into your business. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block, and we take art and marketing strategies and converting them into simple, understandable, step-by-step -step actions so that you can implement them into your business. And that's what we are doing today. I just uploaded two videos and suddenly Facebook changed everything. And now it is much, much easier to upload your videos. And here we have, I am, and I taking you here into my creator studio and showing you how to upload those videos. If you don't know how to get to Creator Studio, go just to business.facebook.com slash Creator Studio and your Creator Studio should be open and it's much, much easier to work out of the back end or you go to your Facebook business page and on the side, you have a menu where you now can just go straight into Creator Studio and you will have the same home screen than that I having. So from here out, you can simply go into create new and we are creating and uploading a new video that is still the same, but you will see the changes if Facebook is not reaching out to me or do different than I wanted to show you. So, all right, so I want to add a video. I have a pre-recorded video and we are going and uploading this video. It's pre-recorded and it's already cut it. So everything is ready to go. And Facebook did exactly what I want to do. We are now in the video editor where we now can optimize our video. Here we have uploaded our video. It's still uploading. And now we can set the title. So I don't know what that video was all about. So I'm just going in here, giving it a title. I should do test. I do a test. So um, include in your, oops, let me get the glasses include in your title keywords people may search for. And then I describe what is in the video, but don't give the content of the video because then the viewer has no reason to watch the video. So describe the content. Oh my God, my spelling is so bad today. Describe the video with a few keywords in it. And now we are going down here. We want to take a um, picture that we like. You, oh, it gave me a nice picture right away. What I'm usually doing when I'm starting with my videos, I smile in the beginning for a few seconds, hold on before I'm recording. And then I sm smile at the end as well for a few seconds so that I can have a smiley face, look friendly into the camera and people as receive me a little bit different than when I have all my, oh, my mouth open and my hands. So you know me, I am speaking with my hands. I'm speaking a little bit louder than other people, but I don't care. So that's what I'm doing. So usually I'm coming up here, you see, with my mouth open and I don't want this. So I usually choose a frame because I know I smile in the beginning and I smile in the end. And now I can take that smiley face or I can go back in the end. You see, I smile. Not too much, but a little bit more. And I save this as a thumbnail. And now I smile. I look friendly on my video. And here we are. Next, I go in to optimize my video. My captions are unavailable. So I will uncheck. And then I go into the settings and let 
the subtitle auto generate right away here on Facebook so that you can read what I'm talking about. Because I understand I have an accent and sometimes you may or you may not have problems, but also you may be somewhere where you cannot turn on the video. So at least you can read what I'm saying. I'm going in here all the time. I have a very high accuracy rate, but I know the beginning usually are wrong because Hello, it says good morning, but I want the spelling be right. Guten Morgen. It is in German. And then I'm checking what Facebook is underlining me. You see, it's simply quickly TikTok. Oh, how do you spell TikTok? I think that's the wrong TikTok. So we want to be all right, that is good. And so I'm going quickly through. I know what I'm saying. I'm liking what I see. And now it is done. We can go into the video optimization where now you can optimize for a mobile or you can shrink and cropping your screen. I don't do it usually because I'm always moving and I don't want people in my only half of my face. So I need to get used to it to sit in the middle so that people can see me in the middle. That is something I have to learn. And then we can go into advanced as well and optimize for mobile and have different ratios up here. I'm not doing it right now, but I will play with it so that I have optimized my videos so that people have a good experience. We want to give them a good experience. We want them to come back because they felt good or you gave value what you provided with your videos. So now I go to next and then I have several options. I can premiere my, so first off you go through here. If you want it on your feed and watch and add, add, embedding and or if you want to have to have it as a secret video i don't i could access to my playlist and it gives me the option to my playlist not with this video because it's like a monday mood video and now you could track it so you can do different options experience you can premiere your video so you can pre-schedule now facebook wants to look for people that most likely will watch that video so they will get some in um opting or some prompting that you come up with a video and then we also can schedule our video that what i will do here in our case live and then we can save it as a, as a draft and can come back to modify or to um, have different options to do with the video. So we want to schedule. So watch out when I publish. I have the publish button right here below. It says publish. And then we go into the scheduling video. And now you see you can schedule your video. So that are a few great changes because before you had the first screen, remember we had when we get on and everything was there, tucked away a little bit. So you, you have to watch. I find this much, much more customer friendly because I want to have a good experience. So now we want to schedule. I usually, I want to have that video up on Monday the 6th and here I am. I want to have it up eight o'clock in the morning. So make sure that you are having your times right not AM or PM, depending where. And you also can schedule an expiration date to the videos. That means the video maybe would be on for, you can leave it up for a few days and then it will take away. You can leave it only for the day. So you schedule at 8 AM and you would re um, have it expired maybe 9 PM. You have the choice if you then want to delete it 
permanently. So you have a few options with your videos. Just go in and experience a little bit because Facebook gives us a lot of option. And there you are. You no longer have an excuse not to do videos. If you are uncomfortable live, like we are right now, make sure that you are recording your videos and then retaking it. Don't retake it too much. Just do the videos and don't watch yourself. So you will get more comfortable time over time. And now you can schedule them out. So there is no need to do live videos, but live videos are giving you the best engagement, the best experience with your followers. So it will give you more reach. So get like, uh, get used to live videos, but start with scheduling the videos, nothing wrong, get comfortable in front of the camera. And now you are able to do those videos. So now you are scheduling them out. I don't put an expiration. I want them on my feet. And voila, I'm scheduling. I am all done. So Facebook is now putting it up into my pre-published videos. Here we are. And here it comes up. Now you have all my pre-scheduled videos in here. And those are the videos I pre-scheduled pre-scheduled so let me refresh so that you can see it we pre-schedule the video and you are done re-record your videos it is still processing and then we are taking the next step so i hope i helped you a little bit to take you a little bit fear from videos go start with pre-recording your videos a few times pre-schedule them out and you are good to go. The most reach you will get with live videos, but hey, there are no excuse anymore if you don't want to go live. Start with the pre-recorded and then down the road, you can go live. But when you want to do live videos, I will do another video on the live videos because now even with live videos, you are able to go into the live video uh, record or in the live video, um, um, or how you call it, the live video. Uh, ay, 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 ay. You see, that is what's happening when you go live. You go into the live video creator where you now have the option to test broadcast so to test your lives how you want to be but that is something for another day for another time so stop pre-recording your videos pre-schedule them into your facebook feed so keep in mind you only can do this on your facebook business page i am you can only go uh, schedule on Creator Studio, or if you have the new business suite, you also can do it on business suite. There you are able to pre-schedule your videos. So you can pre-record your videos, put them up, schedule them, and you are done for the month. You now can go live as well and test your life before going live. So that makes you a little bit more comfortable. But again, that is something we are doing a different video about it. But today I showed you how you can pre-schedule your video and have everything in one place because Facebook made a few changes, want to give us more experience. So if you struggling with video, don't know what to do or what to talk about it, message me in um, Messenger so I can give you a few video ideas and how to do those videos so let me know in messenger and i will send it over to you no sign up nothing required i just sent you our cheat sheet how to create your videos what to think about it and how to structure them and now you 
are one step ahead of hopefully scheduling out your next video or going live. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you same time, same place next Friday, 12 noon, where I will give you another Facebook tip called our Facebook Friday so that you are getting used to the platform starting with Facebook and then you are able to move over to another platform because the strategies at the end of the day are all the same. You just have to make to work them for you, for your business as well for the platform you are using. So thanks for watching this video. Dankeschön. And auf Wiedersehen.